we love to travel. But getting our baby bottles dry on the road has provided to be a little bit of a challenge. Today, we take three dryers and tell you which one we like best. Today, we're going to be testing the TF Foldable Baby Bottle Drying Rack, the OXO Tot, and the Boone Trip. I'm sure you're asking how we're going to do this. Now, we've got to have some criteria, of course. Number one, that's got to be portable. Number two, it's got to be able to fit our stuff. Number three, that stuff better not be falling off. We're also going to put a few different shapes and sizes of bottles on there. First, we've got the Medela and the pump accessories. We're going to put on the Doc Brown, the Baby Brezza, and also the Philips Avent bottles. Let's start with the TF Baby Bottle Dryer. Now, we'll be honest. When we first pulled this out of the shipping container, we were a little underwhelmed with its packaging. But it's simple. Now getting into this, well, we may have had a little bit of trouble. Okay, a lot of bit of trouble. It was difficult. Okay, it was way more difficult than it really should have been. So after all that, we figured out there were two points to push, one on each side of the case. As you can see, setup is really easy. The tines just kind of fold up, and they actually seem pretty sturdy. In the description of the TF bottle dryer, it says that it'll hold 12 full bottles and all the accessories for drying. Now, personally, I don't believe descriptions all that often because they're trying to sell me something. However, we did notice that the Medela and all of its bits fit just fine, and we were able to actually store those little bits for drying pretty easily. Now we travel with the Baby Brezza bottles because there's only three parts to it. You got the bottle, the nipple, which actually connects to the bottle, and then the caps. We were able to fit everything on here pretty easily and really even had room for more. All right, moving on to Doc Brown bottles. Now, if you've used a Doc Brown bottle, you know that there are a ton of different parts within the Doc Brown bottles. You've got the bottle, you've got the nipple, you've got the air vent, you've got the cap for the air vent, you have the caps, you have a partridge in a pear tree. All right, I think you guys get the idea. However, as you guys are noticing, we have a ton of space for it. The large bottles can sit on the racks, the air vents can sit there, even the medium bottles will go ahead and fit there. And we even have enough room to be able to then take our breast pump accessories and breast pump bottles and put those on here as well. This rack could handle the Philips Avent bottles without a problem, being that they have fewer parts than the Doc Brown bottles. As you can see, we've got the medium and the short bottles. It handled all of the rings, all of the nipples, and all of the caps without a problem. Everything stayed in place and nothing was falling off. Next, we have the OXO Tot. Opening up the Tot was exactly what we expected from a brand like OXO. Taking it out of the box, you could tell that there was a fair amount of weight to it, and there was a good build construction. As we opened up, we found that there was two brushes, a small brush on a short handle, which actually goes into the larger brush to make a larger handle. This brush then actually can sit in the case and be stored as you're drying. With the OXO Tot, we're going to start with the Medela and the Baby Brezza. We noticed straight away that we we're going to have to be a little more creative with how we were going to place things. We ended up needing to put little parts inside of the breast pump accessories. And then with the Baby Brezza bottles, we noticed that, well, they didn't fit quite as easily in some of the areas. We ended up needing to get even a little more creative when it came to the caps and putting them on top of other things. Not sure that this is going to be the best drying. With the bump test, you can very easily see that nothing stays in place. These tines just aren't big enough to hold anything. So this misses the mark for our criteria. 
with the Doc Brown bottles, you can see from the get-go that we're having a little bit of problem getting them to stay in place. Those tines just aren't tall enough to actually provide any support. Other than that, you can see that we have ample room to put all the bits and pieces for the Doc Brown bottles. However, it got to the point that we were having to use the area with the nubs just to put normal bottle caps. You can also see, well, the bump test does all right, but still pretty easy to knock things over. We actually had far more problems with the Avent bottles than we figured we would. The width of the opening of the bottle was just right, so it was difficult to get in between tines. Other than that, all of the bits and pieces fit just fine. However, you can tell with our bump test coming up, really, even though it was difficult, the tines still actually let things fall. Next, we move on to the Boone Trip. Now, most people are familiar with the Boone products because it kind of resembles grass. Here with their Travel One called the Trip, we could tell that it's got a nice build. It was a little difficult to open at first. We also noticed that we've got two brushes, a large brush and a smaller bottle brush that nest right into the case. Okay, obviously we've got a problem with space. The bottles fit, but there isn't enough room for the, all of the other accessories. The nipples end up having to go on the brushes. The caps can hang off just a little bit, but there just isn't enough drying space here. Now, if you remember, on every other dryer, we've been able to fit the Medela and the Baby Brussa together. On this one, we've had to separate them due to the amount of space. Now, the Medela actually fits wonderfully. The grass does a great job of holding on to all of the parts, even when we tap it. Now, this dryer worked amazing with the Doc Brown bottles. The slender design of the bottles fit right into the grass. It was able to take all of the accessories and hold on to them. Unlike some of the other dryers where we had to actually put parts onto the brushes, we were actually able to fit all of the nipples and all of the accessories on the grass itself. Last but not least, we come to the Avent bottles. Now, as you can see, the grass grips the bottles just fine. However, with the three bottles in place, we're already basically out of room. The caps, we end up just kind of piling on the brushes. The rings, we were actually able to just kind of hang off the side because of the way that grass is designed. So that's fantastic. However, the nipples and all of the rest of the rings just kind of got piled. Not really sure how well that's going to do for drying. Being that these are travel, weight can be an issue too. So weighing in at 7 ounces and 5 eighths, we have the TF dryer. And next, weighing in at 10 and 3 eighths ounces, we have the OXO. And the heaviest of the bunch, weighing in at 13 and 3 quarters ounces, we have the Boone. Now we did have a little bit of a problem with the Boone dryer. Every time we closed the lid, the brush would fall out. As you remember, getting into this was a little difficult. Here's the tab to be able to push. Now for future use, the TF fit a travel bowl just fine. As did the OXO. Now when it came to the boon, we actually had a little bit of difficulty putting in the lid. We were able to do it, but it just took some work. Now, all three of these bottle dryers have some great features. However, after looking at all three of them, we decided that we would go with the TF bottle dryer. Now, granted, we had a little bit of problems getting into it in the beginning, but after we figured out where to push, it really was the bottle dryer for us. 
The only drawback is it didn't have a bottle brush with it. So what we've decided to do is just grab an old toothbrush. We've got them when we travel, so we are able to clean the bottles effectively. Comment below on which bottle dryer you like the best. Now if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. You know, yep, yeah, it's a, yeah, right over, yeah, right there. Go ahead and hit that. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when we post videos. This video was non-sponsored. There are links below for all of the items that we used in today's video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on Hoodat Reviews.